hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we will see how you can implement paypal payment gateway in asp.net web forms so we have earlier videos about how to do that in the asp.net mvc and asp.net core core 8.0 7.0 um, but we got request about to create that in uh, asp.net web forms which is a old technology uh, so this is the web form project that we have and here is the aspx page that is for web forms so now what you have to do is you have to go to the nugget packages and here you have to install these three packages so there is paypal package paypal checkout sdk and paypal http package okay so you have to install all these three and then what you have to do is you have to go to the <coughs> form where you have to implement the paypal payment gateway so here we have added one button so uh, i have not made it dynamic a lot so you can change as per your requirements but here we have this payment button and on this click event uh, here we have the code for creating a order on um, paypal so now um, i will also run the ui to see that the payments are getting created or not so i will also run this and also will let you know from where you can get this code okay so we will just see this step by step and here i want to log into paypal so i will just open up the chrome and paypal developer login so you will need the client id and client secret for this purpose so uh, you have to log in into your PayPal developer account. So the developer account that I am using is this one. So I will log in from that. And here the application is running. Okay. So on this developer account, you will see the uh, options api calls okay so this will tell all the transactions that we will perform so you can see that it is actually getting added on the paypal and so that's just we will see okay so now uh, we will just go to the application and the application is running here and we have to make sure we don't have the debugger attached so in meantime uh, i have this web config here and i have added the paypal client id and client secret in the web config so we will let you know the complete code also so don't you worry about that so guys this is the page load so on page load we don't have much happening so it will just um, show one button here that we will use for paypal login uh, not login paypal payment so when we click on this button uh, it will so this was the method button payment click and it is calling the create order method so this is the create order method here and here we are trying to create the amount which you want to charge to the customer so this is 100 uh, usd and then uh, here we have to specify the return url like after the payment where it should go and the cancel url is the url where it will go after we cancel the payment okay so here we are just creating one new order request and this is the saying that it is a sandbox environment and we are passing the client id and client secret that we have uh, here okay so that we have passed here and then we are making the uh, order request so now here it has returned back the request and here it is saying that the order request has been created so here it will return back the urls which we will use to uh, approve the payment okay so i have this method here so this is just for logging you don't need all this uh, so that is just for debugging purpose so the main thing that we need is the get approval url now what it will do is it will get the url where we have to redirect uh, for capturing the payment okay so this will return back the link where we have to redirect and so you can see it is redirecting to that url 
so now we can click on pay with credit or debit card so you can choose your options so but we will use um, pay with credit card okay so now here I have some details save, saved already so I will use the already saved details I will also let you know like from where you can find the details that I am just selecting in the video so I will provide you a link of all the code and the details that we are just setting here okay so you have to remember one thing uh, that you have to actually add the address correctly if you want to make this work okay so again I will change to the correct address and then we will fill the details so I don't want to create the account and here is the CSV I will provide you the card number and expiration and CSV details CVV details um, so don't you worry about that now we will click on the continuous cache and so we have given the URL for the success and the failure so success URL seems like the default aspects which is the same page so it will just redirect to this page okay so when we run this first time it will not have the token there and not the pair ID so we are checking if there is connection query string there so query string will come when we will complete the payment so we can make sure that we have the token and then we are going to the capture order okay so now capture order will tell this that we have got the payment and once it will um, perform that capture order that we have created um, below so you can you can see that in the code here that we are capturing the uh, payment here okay so don't you worry about the code we will let you know from where you will get this so now here we are getting the response from the second request and here it says the completed okay so that means the that the payment has been completed fine and we are just showing the status uh, in the label on the ui so it will load and here you can see the completed status now we will go back to the paypal and here i will just search again to refresh the data so here is the first request which, which is the checkout order which we've seen for the redirect and then it is for the capturing the payment and if you will open up this uh, you will be able to see the request and the response here so this is this will be the response that we just noticed in the last step and here is the status completed okay so that means the payment has been completed so now coming back to the code part how you can get the code that we just seen in the video so you can go to our official website uh, codetonight.com so guys if this solution works for you then don't forget to share the channel and subscribe the channel also so uh, here I will also provide you a direct link in the video description so don't you worry about that part also so here is the link that you can click on and that says how to implement PayPal in ASP.NET web forms and here I have just added all the code that we just seen in the video so you can copy the code from here and all the steps are also mentioned here so don't you worry about anything and here you can click on free download to download the code also and um, you can also help us by uh, by me a pizza option here so that will that will also help so this is it guys and you can try on your end if this works for you and if if, if you have any kind of issue then you can also comment on the video so we will have a look at it okay so this is how you can implement asp.net uh, web forms and uh, with the paypal payment gateway okay so and that's it guys and thank you for watching